how do you manage your customer data today? See, customer data is one of the most important data set for your business. And most of the businesses, including me, we start with a simple spreadsheet, like the one you see over here, where you have all the information regarding the customer, their purchase history, uh, their preferences, the marketing campaign responses, and with respect to and other personal information of a customer. It is very easy to get started with something like a spreadsheet, but if you want to start scaling your business, this is not going to cut it. Mainly because Excel is easy to get started, but you can't really share the information very easily with others. You can't control what people change or add to the, your particular spreadsheet. And you also cannot uh, you know, scale beyond a point when it comes to spreadsheet. So that's when you start looking for a particular technology solution, which is you know a little bit more robust, which can handle multiple types of your data and can also fit into your workflows very seamlessly. My name is Bala. I'm one of the co-founders of Zorp. Today, I'm going to talk about how do you build a simple customizable CRM using Zorp in just a few minutes. The first step is to create a new account in Zorp and start creating a table. So we'll call this table you know, customers. Zorp is extremely customizable. That means you can configure what fields you want in your customer database. Let's start with a few. Full name. So full name. So Zorp also provides different types of columns, which you can actually use for you know, storing different kinds of information. For example, full name is a simple text column. Uh, so we will say full name is mandatory. Uh, it also becomes a display column. That means when somebody looks at this particular CRM, the customer name becomes a primary column. It create. Second, let's say I want to add the customer's phone number. So phone number is a number field. So again, create. Next, we'll add you know date of birth. Create that. So you get the gist. So there are other data fields uh, we can actually use. Something like we can upload images. We can have drop downs, single select, multi select. We can upload files. We can even store location, like a proper map location for this customer. We have some advanced column types like formulas in relation to another table user who is, let's say, an owner, internal user who is uh, a POC for that particular customer, or the button. So, button take helps you take specific actions based on the record data. So, let's start creating other fields quickly. All right, now our data set is ready. It's time for us to start importing the data. So you can always create it one by one. Just create a new record, enter all this information and hit create. It should create one. So let me add one, right? Okay, so the other options are all optional. I'm gonna hit create and it creates a new record. So apart from this, I can also import the uh, import additional data via a CSV upload. So click import. You can even download a template. Uh, click import and select the file that you want to import. Once the file is selected, just click next. You can match the corresponding columns with the columns in Zorb.
Okay, so once it is done, hit next. See if there are any errors in any of these rows. Uh, look like there is a mismatch in phone number. Let's correct that quickly. All right, so now the phone number and the data both are fixed. There are no issues here, so click confirm. And now the data should start getting imported. Just refresh, you start seeing that the data, you know, starts getting imported one by one. All right. <clears throat> so your entire customer data, whatever you had in your spreadsheets, is already imported back into the Zorb system. Everything, including the payment methods, the purchase history, the preferred products, what is the status, device type, all of this information is instantly available. Okay. Now, if I want to manage any of these particular customers, let's say I want to go to Chris Lee. I can see all the information over here. So tomorrow, if there is any kind of like a response, let's say the customer satisfaction had went up, just make it six, hit save. I can also have interactions over this particular customer. I can tag other team members. So in this case, there is only one uh, user in this account, but if you have multiple users, you should be able to tag those users and say that this customer Send a message. This in user will automatically get an email notification informing them of this particular comment. They can come back, they can respond, and you can continue the conversation easily this way. Apart from this, if you if you want to see a history of what has happened to a customer, just click on this log. You will see the history of what has been changed in the customer record since the beginning. So in this case, the customer satisfaction score changed from four to six. All right. Now, coming to the next point. So when we have a lot of information about a customer, it is kind of difficult to you know, manage through uh, a series of just a list of fields. So it makes sense for us to neatly organize them into different sections, okay? So we can say the first section is, let's say, instead of default, customer info. I can, you know, have uh, account number, purchase history, this removed, preferred payment method removed. Billing address, preferred products, loyalty, customer satisfaction score, status, device type. So save. Now I see that only customer information is present neatly in a section. The next section I can call it, you know, purchase information. And here I can have purchase history, amount spent, preferred payment method, billing address, preferred products, and yeah, so that should do. And finally, I can have another section where I actually talk about you know, other info. It could be the, you know, the device type, the age, um, status, etc. Right, so you get the gist. So you can also neatly organize saying which information should come first. Let's say you want the other information before purchase information, just click move up and you see the information neatly organized this way, okay? Now you not only have uh, uh, you not only have to you know add this information via like spreadsheets, but you can also automatically create these records via APIs. If you are collecting this information either via WhatsApp or your forms on your website or even via Google Sheets, uh, sorry Google Forms, you will you should be able to push all that information in real time through the APIs which are available for each of these tables. So that's it. It just took us a few minutes to replicate your entire CRM structure from a spreadsheet to the Zorb tables, go live, organize this information and start sharing it with others. So hopefully this is helpful. Look forward to see what you try to build with Zorb. Thank you.